Good morning, guys. How are you doing? How are you holding up? What a week. We've seen a bridge in Washington, D.C. collapse, part of one, and a whole part, the Champagne Tower in downtown Miami, just collapsed. With all honesty, it reminded me of the two, no, three buildings. At the trade center. All three of them. Just right down. Exactly the same way as a champagne building. Go figure, right? It's hot in here. I'm sitting on the opposite side of the fan. Because the only thing between the fan and me is this desktop. I got the fan going already. So, yeah. I'm putting my hair back. And one of the last three days of June, I woke up this morning. I guess I was hoping it was Monday because I was thinking, okay, today's Monday. No, it's Sunday. Yeah, I'm trying to push through the month for anything else, collapses, falls apart, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things. This video is going to be on the supply chain. This now, I don't know about y'all, but the last time I went to Walmart Thursday, I nearly had a stroke. When I seen the cost of a beef roast, twelve ninety eight. That's twelve dollars and ninety eight cents. One more penny. No, two, actually, two more pieces, it would have been $13 a pound. Seriously, people. <laughs> there was a moment you got to clench your heart and think, Oh, dear God, here I go. Uh, look out, baby Jesus, here I come. It was one of those moments. Now... I'm going to include a couple articles that I covered back in May, just as a reminder of all the household stuff, like paper towels, uh, toilet paper, these things, they're going to be going up, because everything is going up. And if you don't think, well, I don't buy paper towels, so it doesn't affect me, wrong. And I'm also going to include an article from a year ago, Investopedia did. Uh, Ken Boyd showing how many companies the General Mills. Oh, so I'm not being catty and bitchy here toward General Mills. It's just I'm showing how many companies that one, just one company can own. And it's quite. Horrific if you really think about it. They own, they have um, a dog food company, Blue Buffalo, Epic Provisions, they do meat based snacks like jerky, uh, Annie's, the, um, oh god, I don't buy the products. Like mac and cheese, that kind of stuff. A uh, small planet foods. This is a another plant-based product. Pillsbury, Hagen Dazs, Japan. They have cereal partners. Also Nestle. They have various distribution channels. So all of these, this one company owns all these things. Now, multi think about Kellogg's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, how all these companies own so many other different things. And even if you don't buy a certain item, you're still going to be affected by the price hikes on their stuff. And I included in here... 
it was announced about a week or two ago that everything was going on. Even the companies themselves are saying this. Now, part of the reason that our vegetables and fruits are going up is because there's a drought in California. Yeah. Uh, check out Endeavor Tavares at StopTheCrime.net. I'm going to leave you a link. And she goes into detail. I mean, very, very deep detail. I'm going to do a video after our supposed holiday weekend next week. Yeah. Y'all know I don't do the fourth thing anymore. I, I don't do that anymore. Is completely lost its meaning. Um, there are companies that own everything. I mean, everything. I'm talking more in depth about this after next weekend. Now, my question is how could California be going to drought? You have a sink called Pacific Ocean right next to you. Crank up the desalinators and get going. It's insane. On top of that, there are farmers having to leave crops rotting and fill because they use too much water. They use too much water, so they have to be left to rot in favor. Oh, excuse me. Of those things that do not use as much water. I don't know about you. But I smell a heaping stack of bullshit, is what I'm smelling. I'm serious. About a seven foot stack of bullshit. Which is why I'm giving you Deborah Traverse's site. So you can go over and watch Read on the Water Wars. Alright guys, I'm going to stop here. It's Moe Caliente. <laughs> it's supposed to get up around 86, 89 today. And I just it's a day you just want to sit in front of the air conditioner. And eat ice. That's about as much ambitions I have today. Alright guys, I'll see you later.